Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you, whether you're a new visitor who's going to go down and click that subscribe button or whether you're a return subscriber or viewer. Thank you very much. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Now, what we're going to talk about today is something that you've all been waiting for. It is Synology DSM Public Beta for DSM 7. And it was released today, December 8th, 2020. Before we get over to the web page, by the way, I'm going to leave a link to this down below. Do not install this on a machine that you cannot have 100% data loss. Remember, this is a beta. So if you join the beta program and you install this and you lose your data, it is on you, not Synology. So the point of this is to make DSM more stable, make it ready for that final release. So usually we see like a beta, then a release candidate, then general availability. So remember, this is beta, but it's got a ton of awesome, awesome features. So let's check it out. Here is the DSM-7 beta page, and you can try it online or you can join the beta. And everything about DSM-7 has gotten just a little better from the way it handles RAID rebuilds to not be so hard on your disk uh, to adding a new drive or replacing a drive with a bigger drive. They've changed that whole um, under underlying algorithm or whatever you want to call it, the, the software functionality that handles that completely changed, more efficient, less hard on the hardware. The active insight, users and securities. I'm just going to go through the highlights here real quick. Um, they are adding fiber channel, backups, uh, and the Synology NAS itself, deduplication across the entire device now. Hybrid share using C2 storage. And you just, you've got to go watch this. If you didn't get a chance to watch the videos that Synology put out yesterday, you really got to check it out. But they are, I'm, I'm scrolling down here, the advanced drive replacement, automatically replace a drive when it reaches critical or failing status, seamlessly switch to a clone drive after manually replacing the drive without ever degrading the storage pool. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Active Insights are going to allow you to manage a fleet of these across across the world and it will actually do some proactive detection of problems and things like that user management and security so they've added some really exciting things to the directory service you can now have backup domain controllers where previously we could only have a single domain controller a primary domain controller now you can have primary and backup so now <laughs> you really can kick that other vendor to the curb completely and feel good about this really good i felt good about it before because we'd usually run in an ha or we had a device with the redundancy but now i mean this is and then the other thing that that you'll see when you get in here is you can actually put this authentication you can actually put your domain controller on the synology hybrid cloud and you can run it distributed you can manage your workstations they've got all kinds of new stuff for group policies windows mac the whole bit now in, in the backup, they've got a Linux client, a Mac OS, native client, so they're enhancing all of these services. You can delegate admin tasks. The new secure sign-in is awesome. You've got to watch the video on it that Synology did. There's an app that goes on your phone. You go to log in. The app goes, hey, is this you trying to log in? You hit yes, and then it signs you in. So, And they've also enhanced the multi-factor, two-factor authentication to support FIDO devices. I mean, they have really juice this thing up and I'm super excited about it. So they keep just, they just keep adding all these features. I, I'm so excited about this. And you can talk about all the new features in Synology Office, Synology Drive. They merged photo stations and moments into Synology Photos, which does all kinds of awesome like AI based recognition. And it's really the best of both of those apps crammed into one. They've got the, um, let's see. Yeah, here they, they talk about being able to do that storage. So you've got a hybrid where you're doing some storage um, with Synology and some on site. So not all of your NASs would have to have the same data. I mean, it, there is so much of this update that I can't explain it in these couple of minutes. And I've got to check with Synology and see if I can do videos on this while it's in beta or if I have to wait for the final release. So we'll see. Some people are going to be doing videos on it, but if they ask me to not do it, of course, we're not going to do that. They, like I said, they're ad adding fiber channel. They have enhanced, again, 
active backup, hyper backup. Now remember, when you store your backups off-site with Synology, you are 100% in control of the encryption keys. So don't lose them because not even Synology can recover your data if you lose your keys. So like I said, you can try it online or you can download it to a device where you can sustain 100% data loss. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'll leave a link down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links, they are all down below. They don't change your price. They do kick a couple bucks over to the channel. It's always appreciated. Once again, I'm Willie. Thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.